it's over. That so wasn't what I was expecting it to be. It was so much better. Uh, the last couple days have really been a whirlwind. The end of our a couple days together, but it's just the beginning of so many new relationships. What a great event. Two days of just awesomeness. The last two days has been incredible. I've been hugely privileged to be surrounded by the best water feature artists and designers in the world. The competition is only getting tougher and tougher because these newer guys to the industry and gals to the industry are just killing it out there. It's pretty intense seeing the people that have been in for two years producing the stuff that they're producing was just like mind blown as to how far the industry has come. My head is like this big. I literally have pages in my iPad and my notes of what I want to start working on when I get home. I just want to go build. Like I just want to go outside and build again because it was it was so inspiring. Yeah, I just I absolutely loved it. These guys work their ass off. They dedicate their lives and their careers to making the better water features. They're an inspiration to all three of us. So I would love to be able to nominate every single person here for this award, but only one person can get it. And who is that person? Drum roll, everybody. Yes, drum roll. We are gonna build a pondless waterfall. The best way to learn anything is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. All work and no play makes for a dull day, even with phenomenal work. Adding at night the networking events that we can actually bring up each other's energy, the competitions, everybody loves those. So getting out and doing a crazy sport like whirly ball is what Aquascape is all about. Watch me play, I'm the crush. You know, so we've always said, uh, work hard, play hard. I knew Greg wasn't gonna want this to be any different. And if you've never played Whirly Ball, it's like go-karts with lacrosse. Whirly Ball is a blast. It's fun, it's easy, fast-paced, kind of going back and forth. I mean, we're slashing, we're whacking. I mean, they're jumping out of their seats, they're whacking each other, they're standing in the carts. Like, it's just crazy, because guys just get so competitive, right? As you would imagine, a group of entrepreneurs and business owners, they don't listen to the rules. They don't listen to anybody. They're out there for blood. They just want to destroy each other. And then you got Greg over in the corner with his little racket, just cherry picking the whole time. He can't quite figure out how to drive the cart, so he just sits there and dink, 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 dink. And yes, he wins because he cheats. The after hour stuff is almost, if not equally, impossibly more important than the actual working together because it's the friendships, it's the relationships that get formed. I guarantee at the end of all of this, people are gonna remember some of the presentations, people are gonna remember some of the relationships they made. Whirly Ball just kind of ties it all together. The laughs, the camaraderie, it's all part of the package. All the regional artists did their stuff, blew everybody away. The original artists of the year, kind of sitting in the front row, all of a sudden you're looking at them and they're going, I might need to maybe tweak a few things. So I think they ended up going back after having a few drinks in the evening time, working on their presentations to make sure that they were able to compete because these are the guys everybody looks up to. You're here presenting, you're not getting judged, but it's like you're carrying that torch. It's a huge responsibility. So I definitely think it elevates the game for everybody and it makes sure that those current artists of the year stay on top. I'm never happy with what I do. I'll look at something and I'll be like, you know, like Jody will say, wow, that came out great. And I'm like, eh, for me, I always want to get better. This room, you guys are building some crazy stuff. And I don't ever want to not keep growing. And that's what's nice about the collaborations because we always push each other. Not only do we push each other working, but we push each other's creativity, and it's a ton of fun. Five years from now, 10 years from now, we'll be talking about this event. It just felt like one of those moments, like a snapshot in time. A ton of inspiration, a ton of like 
being reminded why we do this. It was just being reminded again how Aquascape is not necessarily about the product, it's about the culture, the impact on our customers, our, even our own lives as the people that install this stuff. It was just a really energizing time to be together. I love it. How do you teach someone that it, that looks good and that doesn't? In the beginning of your journey, you start being aware, but then it's like, okay, now how do you take what you know looks good and translate it or share it with someone else that in a way that they can grasp it. You know what, you can take a new green guy that's maybe been around water feature building for a few months or a year or two and teach them these couple things. If they honor those principles, I call them, of artistry, it will look better than 90% of the stuff out there. I loved it, I love the new format. The fact that I had a chance to meet some new really talented artists and see their work and get to know them and their companies and what they what they stand for and, and why they're doing what they're doing. It was really cool. I was, I was really, really thrilled with the whole experience. I thought it was cool too. All the regional guys coming up and, and just showcasing your style. Obviously my style is different than some other guys. I think it's really important to whatever style you like to build with, embrace that, perfect it, because that's what's gonna keep you, you know, amongst this group is perfecting what you're really good at. You're all obviously really good to be here so don't think that you know you have to change anything drastically to look like somebody else that's here. You guys are all here for a reason, so definitely continue with that. I was blown away by what the uh, regional uh, artists brought to the table. These guys have stepped it up to another level that I did not see coming, and I am just thankful that I am where I am now because I don't know how I would compete with these guys. Be better. This rock right here, when we set that, I stared at it for three hours that night. And when my guys showed up the next day, I was like, we're pulling that out. We gotta fix it, it's gotta be better. And that's what I think drives all of us to be in this room. I don't think any one of us settles for that'll work, that's good enough. Something that I took from Brian a long time ago was to analyze your, your, your work at the end of the project you know, sit back and, and critique that. And what would you change on that? And I do that every project religiously with my guys. I'm very critical of myself, but it's because I only want to climb higher. I am not going to look down. I was impressed by the level of talent, especially the uh, presentations. Everyone put so much effort into it and really did expand on things I didn't know about them. Obviously, this was like an introduction to me because I didn't have a, a good idea of each one of them. It made it a little bit more difficult in the selection, final selection. But um, yeah, I thought it was amazing to see the level of work and effort put into not just the presentation, but what they're doing in their nominated areas where they work. I still get it today, and I think a lot of you would as well. When, when you say you're a pond builder, what do you do for a living? I build ponds. A lot of people think it's just a hole in the ground, some rocks around it, and a spurty thing in the middle, and that's pretty much it. And you've got to sort of either show them something or get them past that point to show what you actually can do. So Australia was like that, and I had to itemise. I changed my quote. I mean, my quoting was very detailed, because I wanted, I wanted the customers to know, because Australia was used to a bit of liner and a pump, that there was a hell of a lot more that went into a pond, a properly built pond. My mind is blown, honestly. It's it's so much more than it ever was you know back in the beginning what's it been 10 years since we got artist of the year and it was so much simpler then and now it's like well, the bar is so much higher now and the the guys that were here being picked by all their peers and the the quality of the presentations and the the variety of all of the projects like it's just so they're all so different and they're all so amazing looking through all that and try to pick a person was so hard and so much goes into it however you walk away win lose or draw whatever being here is such a massive win i hope you realize that you can't leave here a loser at this point the ideas that i've borrowed i mean everything that i do i've taken from all of these guys it's really just taking what somebody else does that i find inspiring and then manipulating that and into a style that became my own. I've been going on this frustration about not being able to be nominated for Artist of the Year because Dad already won it the year before I started. So it's like I was kind of born into this thing that technically I don't get any credit for, but then coming in and actually seeing everyone's presentations, seeing all the work and the crazy different styles that are happening was like, damn, even if I could, I don't know if I would. I would need to step up my game. I need to rise to a different elevation and take those ideas and the inspiration from these guys 
just like he did. I'm extremely amazed now, like seeing what guys are coming up with, like their first year of building water features. They blow this away. Like they're building like pro level stuff right out of the gate because of all the inspiration you can get from all the social media and sharing all this stuff over the last 20 something years. And now your head start, your, your learning curve is so much shorter than any of ours were, like when we were starting up. When I was doing my presentation, I was going back to 25 years ago when I started. And the pond I started with looks horrible compared to how these guys are starting out now. They're starting out like 15 years ahead of where I started because of all the information, all the YouTube channels, everything that they can learn by themselves before they even have to touch a rock. That's exciting. It's scary for me because I'm like, man, I wish I had all this information when I started, but uh, I'm, I'm super excited for where things are going because of what I'm seeing. When I found Aquascape, I was like obsessed with it. So I watched every single video that Brian and Ed made back in the day at Aquascape Ponds. And then I found like, a little promo video on Artist of the Year and like Joey and Jack and Alan and everybody's talking on it. And so I, I started studying everybody's work really. So we've been trying to mimic that in our own way and the, the way I kind of look at it is like we try and try to be like everybody else and you kind of in your own failure to do that you find your own little style. I think this is probably the best Aquascape event I've been to which says a lot Aquascape always puts on incredible events but uh, this was awesome on, on so many different levels. I didn't realize that some of these presentations were going to get so personal and uh, you would actually get a little opening into why people um, love water and what they do uh, instead of like just talking about rock work and stuff but it was really nice to um, hear some of those personal stories that are attached to it and really make it more personal. Everybody here is kind of on the same page. We're here for a reason right? Everybody loves their job because they found their meaning and give their purpose. It's, it's an honor to be with like-minded people all in the same room from around the world. It's pretty awesome. Only one person is going to win this thing. Everybody else is going to have to either keep on trying or master the process first. It was a great experience to have literally the best in the world all together in one room. Nothing's ever happened like this before, so it was pretty surreal and amazing to see everybody's take on the different aspects of water feature building and how they work and how they do things. It was cool. Design elements is something I think you learn you know, proper design elements. It's something you pick up over the years, right? You get better at it, you start learning different principles. I sucked at design. I really did. Like now, I know I realize that. I thought I was pretty good. Basically, everyone came together, got to meet all the new guys that were all deserving of this uh, recognition, right? And to be honest, like, uh, I thought it was amazing. I had a, a great time. It was invigorating. I, I really learned a lot, which is important when you come to these events, I think. It's just going to get harder and harder to win this award, I think. I'm glad I did it already, to be honest, because I don't think I would be doing it if, it was, if I was still having to. And uh, no, I think these guys are awesome. All of them were deserving of winning it. So that's why it was a really tough decision. I just wanted to have everybody like sit back and absorb this moment for a second. Just look around this room right now. You are amongst the best water feature installers in the world. Greg talks about his genre that he's trying to create. We are that right here. We are creating a movement every day. And I'm probably the worst showing that because I'm so far into the grind of it but everybody in this room is a winner. So with the new format, the talent's tight. You get a bunch of high performing athletes, whoever it is, the bar is raised. They're gonna be going at each other and it was no different with this. After listening to all those different presentations, it elevated everybody's game. And I was like, wow, this is gonna be unbelievable. But one victor. Guys, thanks for coming up here. But I, who I really wanted to thank, though, was all of the current Aquascape Artists of the Year that came from all over the country, all over the world. How about a round for all the current Aquascape Artists of the Year? I have been dreaming of this day for months since we came up with this. And uh, I think all of the Artists of the Year will agree with me that this was from the presentations that we just received the last day and a half, 
the most vetted out aquascape artist of the year ever. Would you guys agree with that? So we have been waiting since the regional nominations came in in August at Pandemonium to find out who was gonna be the winner of this, this, and we're about to find out right now. Over here, there, let's go here. This is my award, <laughs> son of a... Okay, hey, you know, no problem. If I would say, by far, this is the hardest year it's been to pick a winner. 100%. A couple of the past artists talked about, like, the bar has been raised so high. We saw it in the presentations from, like, some of the veterans in here and how bad the ponds were that we built like when we started. People starting out now are building ponds that are epically further ahead than what we did when we first started. You mentioned it yesterday that this award, it's not just, a, it's not an award, it's actually a responsibility. Oh, yeah, like Everything we do, we're always thinking about the details, we're always thinking about the customer interaction, what type of animals are going in it, how it actually ties in with the overall environment. So when we talk about that responsibility, we are passing that on to somebody that could actually take our place in their respective geographical area. So everybody in this room is, uh, is a representative of Aquascape. This is a pretty cool moment. Yeah. These guys work their ass off. They dedicate their lives and their careers to making the better water features. They're an inspiration to all three of us. So I would love to be able to nominate every single person here for this award, but only one person can get it. And who is that person? Drum roll, everybody. Yes, yeah, drum roll. Oh man, speech. Remember he said 2001, he started dealing with Aquascape and he was even building water features before that. So this is a long time coming. It's a great honor to, to have this and, and um, you know, have all these guys, uh, you know, with me here because there's such amazing talent uh, all around me. And all the uh, past artists of the year that I've worked with over the years. <laughs> oh, <this is> <laughs> <awesome>. <laughs> oh, wow. But the, these guys have just taught me an immense amount, um, both in, ben, in, in business and um, in, the, in the artistry of it. But none of it could be done uh, without my family. Been super supportive of my crazy hours and flying all over the place. Um, I used to do like 80% travel, and you guys know what that's like. And then run, trying to run a business at the same time at home. So it's all you that just push me up and uh thank you for that that's all i got congratulations mr sean frost certainly deserved and this doesn't take away from any of the other guys that also deserve i didn't know who was going to win i'll never let anybody know what my vote was for if it was for sean or one of the other guys they're all deserving but we can only have one winner sean amazing work and for anybody that is going to be on my vlogs or on my social media that doesn't think i have different clothes i do congratulations sean well deserved and overdue always there he gets things done he's incredible he's super talented but to listen to him do his presentation to listen to the thought process where he gets his inspiration from so all those little behind the scenes stories is what really makes uh, all the difference in the world and it's what elevated sean above the rest of that incredible competition that was out there sean buddy you so so deserve it and it wasn't just your presentation sean i've been following you for so long you help so many people. You're genuinely a great guy. It's about stinking time, buddy. Hey, man. High five. Big hugs. Uh, there's only one other team that would have beat you. These two guys. Huh? If there was two of us, we would have crushed you. <laughs> I want to say thank you to everybody that supported me along the way. Um, I have an incredible group of friends out there and I would not change anything for that. And the people that have supported me all along the way, um, you know, my family, I would be remiss to say, you know, someone that made a huge difference in my business was April Dugan I'm with American Waterscapes. She always pushed me, you know, we, we fed off of each other. 
uh, you know, in business. And we still continue to do that to this day. That's what cooperative business is about. And this, really the whole, this whole thing is a cooperative business. That's what it's all about, is, you know, making these relationships and, and building each other up. I just want to say thank you to all you guys. You're what makes this happen. I think it was long overdue for Sean Frost. I'm so happy for him. Pretty sure it was a very unanimous vote. Yeah, Sean was, has been deserving for many years. I'm so happy that he has won this because I've been rooting for Sean for a long time. The guy is no less than an amazing artist. He knows so much. I've learned so many things from that guy watching his videos. He gives back all the time, fantastic teacher, and I think he's gonna be a huge asset to this group. His time was now, his time has been you know, for a long time, so it's nice to see him finally recognized. He's completely worthy of, of winning that Artist of the Year this year, for sure. He's excited for him, that's great. Sean Frost is undoubtedly the best in the room. He's been doing it for a long time. I know his name has been in the running for years. Today was the moment, you know, it, it happened for him. This guy could have been the first person to win this award. He's been awesome for a long time. I mean, there's no one more deserving of it.